right, the second action that we'll talk about for the Villanova offense, five out offense, is the pass and screen away. So we've already gone over the pass and cut. So if you haven't seen that video, just click down on the link and you can watch that video first. So the next part is going to be, again, five out. And just one tip here. One thing you will have with your players is you'll start to see these kids in the corner creep out of there, which will draw their defender up and your spacing won't be as good. So you got to make sure those kids that are in the corner, you know, are down there deep so that you have more spacing in between each of the spots. They'll tend to creep up and these kids will tend to creep up too. I like to actually tell these kids to be in line with that. So if I was going to redraw this like I'd want it, I'd put the wing players free throw line extended. Okay, I think that gives you about your best spacing that you're going to get out of there. All right, so now we're going to pass and we're going to screen away. So we pass here. This player will come over and screen for this player wherever his defender is. So he's got to find him, and that's a key, especially with younger players, even high school players. They'll just run to a spot where that kid is, and a lot of times they'll end up screening their own player. So you got to make sure that you teach them to actually go find a kid in a different color jersey and actually put a body on him. I don't care if he's down here. Come down there and get him. Wherever he's at, you must find him and screen him where he's at. He's not always going to be standing uh, where you run this 5 on 0. Oh. So when you screen away, now, to flow into the next part of this offense is we need to set the screens up. Okay, so we should be coming down and faking a back door and then curling off of this hard to the rim. So this is a number two. This is a Villanova two. Uh, so when he comes, he passed, he screens away. As he's coming, this player starts to go back door to set that screen up. So we're hopefully, you know, we're getting our defender down in here, defending that, and then we're running him into the screen as we curl around and then you'll just continue to run that action pass and screen away so he passed over there now the second part of this is the rollback so if i went and set i passed and i screened away now i'm rolling and filling back up here again all right so that's an important part of that and what you'll find is this kid rolling back is open a lot Okay, they're going to really focus on stopping that curl because they don't want to give up the layup. So what you'll find is the kids rolling back typically will be wide open. And what I like to try to get my players to do is catch eyes to the rim on here. Okay, and right here, when we passed over here, I want eyes to the rim. I don't want people looking with their eyes, staring down and waiting for that kid to curl. When they catch that ball, remember... That ball's there, and now he's just going away to screen. Turn and face the basket, look at the hoop, and then in that time, that this kid has to decide whether, hey, can I drive, and nobody guard me, can I shoot? Then this curl will be there. So this kid has you know, a couple seconds to actually look at the basket, and then it keeps his defender down in here. Okay, it keeps him out of a passing lane up here where I can throw this pass, or that pass, he'll be more respectful of me there. So I'm engaging my defender is what I tell my players. Engage your defender, look at the rim, be an offensive threat, and then if you don't have anything, in the time that you did engage the defender, now that kid's curling. Now that kid's rolling back, and the offense will flow much better with that. Okay, so this is a two. We'll go through it one more time here. So let's just do it from a different spot. Okay, let's just say we dribble the ball down here on this uh, wing. This, this guy's got the ball. Okay, so he passes to the corner, and now this player, seeing that, is going to start the back door. And of course, you know, and that's one thing I really like about this offense is we're teaching players how to read defense, how to read screens. We're not just sending them through to a bunch of spots. Uh, even though there are spots, that's for spacing purposes. And so this kid's going to run the back door. He's going to start it here as he comes up. And he's going to find his defender and screen him. And then he's curling off to the rim. 
and then that player is rolling back there. And again, when you roll back, again, you catch the ball again, eyes up, look at the rim, because what you'll find a lot is this is the perfect time to pump fake and drive. And in this offense, teaching kids the right time to drive, you know, the right time to drive is when I catch the basketball. Within that first one to two seconds that I have the ball, those are going to be your times to drive when we're running the screening action. We do not want to have the ball for three seconds or more, and then this kid's cutting, and now I take off, this kid takes off driving, okay? So we don't want to be driving as our cutter is coming through, which can be a problem. So you have to teach your players to, as soon as they catch the ball, they got one, two seconds at most to decide whether they're going to drive. And they must engage their defender, eyes to the rim. You know, then they can give their pump fake. And it's that player, because that screening action still happened. So that is the moment when they can drive and get to the hoop. And then the other time is on the rollback, we hit that rollback screener. We hit the screener on the rollback. His defender typically, you know, if this guy set the screen here, on this player, he went through. So now when he rolls back, his defender typically gets lost in here helping on that or really deep. And so now we have a closeout situation. We have a situation where the person that set the screen's defender is sagging, he's in the lane helping on the curl. And now when he rolls back, he's open. If he doesn't have that shot, this guy's coming out hard. And it's a great time to teach a pump fake and a drive to your players. So those are the times you wanna drive. Uh, so reinforce that with your players, uh, but this is a two. Pass and screen away. We set up screens, and here, here's what you'll have, especially you know high school and below, here's what you're gonna have happen with these kids. So we're gonna pass, and we'll go to screen away, and this kid right here, his feet will be in that direction a lot of time. So you really have to work with them on getting their feet in this direction, setting that screen up and coming off. We don't want to telegraph what's happening. Okay, if we just turn and look and wait for the screen to come, first of all, we're not a threat to go back door and we're just telling the defense what we're going to do. So I really like teaching kids these screens because to read these screens because it teaches them to think, to be smarter players. And I always tell them, it's a game within a game. You're trying to outsmart the kid that's guarding you. You're trying to make him believe you're going to do one thing, but you're actually going to do another. I'm going to make him believe I'm going to run a back door, but I'm actually going to run him into this screen and come off on a curl. And then the offense continues to progress with more actions. From the two, we'll go to a three, and we'll talk about that in the next video. But let's take a look at some Villanova pass and screen aways. Number twos. Now, if you'd like to learn the complete five out offense from Harry Peretta, just rent these DVDs from our website. Okay, here's our first screen away and curl. So you can see the point guard goes and tries to get that defender. They don't switch it, but she's able to get through that screen and defend there. Now, later, I'm going to show you something I've changed on this called what we call Demon that might have worked right there. Just a little bit of different screen away action. Okay, so here's a screening action I like in this offense a lot. We're screening the wing and they're coming over the top. So again, she gets a body on her. This isn't, I'm slowing this down, but they aren't running this real hard. I mean, I would, I like to have my players really go through there hard as they possibly can. So the defense has to play them and they just kind of can't sag in there and play but now you'll see look at that defender and there's your rollback number 25 gets it and now we got that closeout situation okay here they are starting the offense with the down screen and then we'll get right into again here the point guard passes screens away here comes number two off the curl and then here's the rollback to the top And again, here's the point guard making the pass to the wing. She's going to go screen away. And they'll curl right off. Now, they're not setting those screens up. They're just not setting them up, threatening them back door. So they could probably be doing a better job of that. Okay, so I froze it right here because one thing that my players always 
hear me say is don't be standing and looking at people. And so you can see number two up top is pretty much just standing there and looking. Uh, the point guard there is not going to throw her the ball. The girl's in the passing lane. So what I would tell my players to do is just go screen away. You don't have to make the pass. Just go set the screen, let 25 curl around, and let's keep this flowing and moving. Don't just stop and look at people. Be sure to click the link in the description to get your free coaching forms and download them. I'll send them right to your email immediately. Hey, be sure to subscribe to our channel over here. You can also click and rent coaching DVDs through the mail from the best coaches in the game, or you can watch a related video. It's your choice. Go ahead.